All right, we're ready for our first actual lesson of Mission 6. And here I'm actually combining two lessons, so we'll have two different I can statements, two different learning targets. So let's take a look and see what they are. I can use objects and drawings to make equal groups. I can write repeated addition sentences to match my work. So we have two very different I can statements. Here's the one and here's the other. They are going to relate. So what are we going to be using? We're using objects. So here I've got some little tiny erasers. You could use pennies, you could use erasers, you could use crayons, you could use tiny pieces of paper that you rip up, you could use earrings, um, you could use anything that's nice and small. And we're going to use drawings. So I've got a piece of paper and something to write with so I can do my drawing. So we're using the objects and drawings, and we're going to try and make equal groups, just like we tried to do with Emmy Leishka in the word problem when she was trying to make equal groups of her teddy bears. Now, after we do that and we make those groups using our objects and using our drawings, then we're going to write repeated addition sentences to match it. What does this here mean, repeated? We know what addition is, but what's a repeated addition sentence? What do you think? When you repeat something, you do it again. So a repeated addition sentence is going to look like more than one addition. Three plus three plus three plus three is an example of a repeated addition sentence. And those are the kinds of sentences we'll be writing today to help us solve our work. So the first thing we're gonna be doing is starting with objects. You can watch me use my objects to make equal groups and you can take out something small to, in order to make your own equal groups too, okay? So if you wanna pause so you can go find something small to use and come on back and we'll get started together, okay? So go ahead and pause and get something to use. Okay, so now I'm ready to get started. I've got my little counters here. Hopefully you've got something to count with too. For now, you can watch me. If you'd like to follow along and make your same, the same kinds of groups I'm making, that's great too. So I've just got a little box of tiny egg erasers. I've got some bunny ones over here too in case I need some, something else. All right, so let's take a look at the groups I've got right now. How many groups do you see? I've got one group, two groups, three groups. Are these groups equal or unequal? And how do you know? So these groups are equal because they all have the same number of counters in each group. This group has two, this group has two, and this group has two. All right, now I'm going to change my groups. How many groups do I have now? One group two groups. Are these groups equal or unequal? And how do you know? These groups are unequal. Why? Because this group has four and this group has two. They do not have the same amount in each group, so they are unequal. So what does it mean then when we say that groups are equal? It means that they have the same number in each of the groups. So here we are back to our equal groups. All right, now watch, I'm gonna change my groups. You can go ahead too, you're gonna to need eight counters, eight of something, eight pieces of paper, eight crayons, eight something. And we're gonna put them all into groups of two. So I've got group of two, group of two, group of two, group of two. Go ahead and do yours. You can pause the video if you need a minute so you can have time to make your groups. How many groups of two are there now? One group, two groups, three groups, four groups. There are four groups of two counters each. Now we're going to make groups of four eggs or four objects. So each group should have four. Don't get any more though. You're just gonna use the ones you have. So I have all these here and I'm gonna put them in groups of four. So there's a group of four. 
there's a group of four. Now how many groups do I have? One group, two groups. Now we have two groups of four counters. Okay, so now I want everybody to have 12 counters. And remember, you can use anything you've got at home. You could have 12 pennies. But what I'd like you to do is organize the counters into equal groups. So it's up to you. You can make as many groups as you want, but all your groups need to be equal. So if you want to pause while you make your equal groups, go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and try mine now. All right, I've got equal groups. Each group has two in it. Let's see how many groups I made. One, two, three, four, five, six. I made six groups and they each have two. There are other ways to make equal groups with the same amount. Did anybody else do something different? You could have groups of four. And how many groups would you have if you put four in each group? One group, two groups, three groups. Okay. You could also have groups of six. I have six here and six here. How many groups would that give me? Two. So there can be more than one way to make equal groups. If you did one of those ways, why don't you try another way now? Maybe the one of the ones that I showed you. And when you're finished, you're gonna say how many are in each group and how many groups you have. So right now I have two groups of six. Earlier I had three groups of four, and at the very beginning I had six groups of two. Now, let's try something different. I'm gonna ask you to put your counters the same way I have mine. So here I have a group of three, here I have a group of five, and here I have a group of four. Are these groups equal or unequal? They are unequal. They each have a different number in them. They do not match. Now, I want you to look at these again, look at your counters, and I want you to try to make the groups equal. I want you to move the counters around until your groups are equal. You can pause the video if you need a minute to go ahead and do that. I see one fast way to make the groups equal. This one has four. This one has five. If I take away one from him, he'll have four. I have to put it somewhere else though. If I put it here, now I have three groups of four. Now I have equal groups. Now if I wanted to write a repeated addition sentence to match this work, what would I write to show what I've done here? How many eggs are here? I have four plus four plus four again. And what would be my answer? Four, eight, and 12. Here is an example of a repeated addition sentence with multiple times we are adding to get our answer. Nice job, friends. So now we can put, you can put away your counters if you want. I think I'm gonna leave my counters out, but we're also going to be focusing on drawing instead of using objects. So this time, let's think about Emileshka and her stuffed animals. Emileshka had 12 stuffed animals. And she had three baskets. So I can draw baskets, or I could just draw circles. So here I'm going to draw her three baskets. And I know she needs three teddy bears. I know she needs 12 teddy bears total, or 12 stuffed animals total. Maybe I'll use my little bunnies first and then I'll do a drawing. So I know she needs 12, so I can count out 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. She's got a lot of stuffed bunnies. And we want the same number of bunnies in each of her baskets. So what if we put just one bunny in each basket? Do we have equal groups? They are equal, but do we have our 12 as our total? We don't, we need to use all these bunnies up. 
So is two enough? Not yet. Is three enough? Still no. Can I make groups of four? I now have four bunnies in each group. Are my groups equal? Yes, they are. And in fact, it matches this addition sentence. Four bunnies plus four bunnies plus four bunnies gets us our total of 12. So now, instead of using the actual objects, I'm just going to draw them. I'm going to draw circles. One bunny, two bunny, threes bunnies, four bunnies, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. This picture shows the three groups of four bunnies. Let's try another one. So I'm going to move down here. Now let's see. Let's do a sentence about jelly beans. So I have four bowls. And I have a total of eight jelly beans. Eight jelly beans. And I want to divide the eight jelly beans equally into each of the four bowls. Maybe each of these bowls is for one of my students. And I want to make sure they all get the same amount so that it's fair. So how can I split up these eight jelly beans into the four, four bowls equally? Well, let's start with one. If I put one jelly bean in each bowl, is that fair? It is fair. Did I use all my jelly beans? One, two, three, four. I didn't use them all. Could I give everybody one more jelly bean? Let's find out. Now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Is this fair? It is fair because everyone has two. Did I use all the jelly beans? I did, I don't have any extras. Now let's write a repeated addition sentence for this problem. Two jelly beans plus two jelly beans plus two jelly beans plus two jelly beans equals how many total? The total here should be eight jelly beans. Nice job. All right, so now it's gonna be your turn. I'm going to ask you to draw a couple of pictures and then post your answers for what you did on the Google Classroom, all right? So I'm gonna ask, I'm gonna give you a repeated addition sentence. I'm going to give you a problem and then you'll be writing the repeated addition sentence. So that's what I'm asking from you, an addition sentence. And then your answer in a complete sentence. So we'll do jelly beans again, okay? There were 10 jelly beans and three bowls. Oh, not three bowls. Let's do five bowls. How many jelly beans can we put in each bowl? How many jelly beans can we put in each bowl? and have equal groups. So we wanna make sure that every single bowl gets the same number. So you need to start out first by drawing your picture, then writing your addition sentence, then writing your answer in a complete sentence. Something like, we can put however many jelly beans you figure out in each bowl. All right, so that's one of your problems, and then I'm going to give you another one. All right, this time we have 15 stuffed animals and three kids. How many Stuffed animals can each kid 
half. And remember, we want to make sure that it's equal. We want this to be fair for our friends. So you're going to draw a picture that shows us how many stuffed animals they can each have. You'll write your addition sentence. And then your answer in a complete sentence. Okay. So here's your two problems. I'm going to post them on Google Classroom and you can go ahead and get started and submit your answers. I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. Talk to you soon.